Good morning and welcome back to the channel. We're in a place called Zeniamar and we're in a restaurant called The Central Grill. We're not doing any video on this place today, but we will be coming back later on in the week to do a video and have a nice meal here as well. It's owned by my good friends, Jerry and Catherine Deegan, who came all the way from Ireland back in the day, but I'll tell you more about that in the next video. So the reason I'm here today is to introduce you to the Hop app that allows you to look for and rent out the e-scooters around the Orihuela Costa area. I suppose in a way it's designed to be cheap and effective and that it is. You will see on the app in a few moments time the prices that it charges to use it. And I suppose in a way you only use it for short periods of time. If you're to use it for long periods of time, well then the, amount, the money is going to mount up on it. So what I would suggest at that stage then is probably think about renting one on a daily basis, which probably anything from around 10 euro up to 15 euro per day, depending on how long you want to actually rent it for. But this article is about the hop. Let's see what they have in store. So the first thing you need to do is go into the Play Store on your phone and look for the Hop app itself. And this is the one here that you're looking for, Hop Scooters. Just set install, I'm giving it a few minutes there to get in place. So once the app is installed on your phone, you just simply press on Open. And then at this stage it will ask for your phone number. It doesn't ask for any passwords or uh, emails or anything like that as well. At the moment it just asks for your phone number. Because I'm in Spain, I'm going to put in my Spanish number. And what it does then is it sends a message to your phone with a four pin code. You open up the code. It then asks you to allow location to be used on your map by the app. You obviously have to allow that because this is all about showing you where the nearest available hops are. We'll set it to only use it while using the app. And that's the app installed on your phone. Once you open the app, it'll show you the exact location where you are. But just to show you the other parts of it first, you can't go and rent out a hop unless you have a credit card assigned to the app itself. So you go into Wallet, add a payment method, put in your card, expiry date, security code, and then save card. If you want to find out a bit more about the hop itself, how to ride, it tells you all about it there, how to scan the code and so on and so forth. Wear your helmet, it asks you to wear a helmet, it doesn't tell you that you must, however Spanish law tells you that you must wear a helmet while riding an e-scooter. And then where to park. So, as I said to you before, I'm up in an area called Zeniamar at the Central Grill. So I can scroll out along the map, and then I start to see all these green guys here, and these are the hops that are the closest to me at the moment. But if you scroll out a little bit more, it shows you the area that you can operate with the hops as well, all the way at the top from Torre Vieca, all the way down to Deja de Campamor. It's quite a vast area that you're actually allowed to use the hop in. So we scroll back in to where we are, and we see if there are any hops. The closest one seems to be that one there on the left-hand side. So. To find out if that hop is available, you simply press on the hop and then down the bottom right hand side, it tells you that there's 18.8 kilometers left on the battery of that. It tells you that it's 90 cent to start it. And it also tells you that it's 20 cent per minute to use it. Okay, fast forward a couple of days and we end up getting to do part two of this vlog. We've been so busy recording the last few days, it was unbelievable. But anyway, we found an e-scooter about 200 meters away from our house. I've booked it and that allows me to reserve it free for 15 minutes before I get to it. After the 15 minutes, it then starts to charge you. I think it charges you 90 cent to start it up like what it normally would. And then because it's still in pause mode, it'll, start, it'll charge you 10 cent per minute until you actually ride it itself. And that comes directly out of your credit or debit card. Within that 15 minutes, I think you can also cancel it and then it's obviously free of charge to cancel it then as well. It just allows you to get to it and have it reserved so I'll make sure that nobody takes it before you get there. So when we get there, which is only another 50 meters to go now at this stage, we'll unlock it using the QR code and we'll take it for a spin. So when you walk up to it, it has a pin code there that you can put in instead of actually scanning the QR code as well. But once you press unlock on your on your phone, the QR code comes up on it, or the QR scanner comes up on it. And there it is there. 
it'll also allow you to add another scooter onto it as well which can work off the same credit card so that's a good addition to this as well so now we're ready to go and that's a scooter there we simply take it off a stand push forward and press go on the throttle and then you have a brake on either side as well the last time i rode one of these the brakes were very very tight on them so be careful on that don't be afraid to check out the brakes before you actually go too mad on it it can go to speeds of up to 25 kilometers an hour that depends on whether you're uphill or downhill or what weight you are and all and other contributing factors as you would appreciate as well so anyway let's take it for a ride So it is perfectly legal to ride these on the main road as well, but please, 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 normal rules of the road apply and common sense as well. And remember, as I said to you before, you are required to wear a helmet, which is law in Spain. You're not allowed to ride on footpaths. You must stay on the road. So let's see what sort of speed it keeps up, bring me up this little incline at the moment. Bearing in mind that I'm still carrying a little bit of Christmas weight. <laughs> okay, so we're at 19 kilometers an hour, which isn't too bad, I presume. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. As you see what happens when you're finished, you just simply press on the button to end ride and it gives you two options. Number one, to pause the ride and number two, to end it. If you pause it, it does charge you per minute for actually having it in pause mode, which I think is 10 cent as it says there on it as well, until you're ready to use it again. So bear that in mind when you are pausing it, if you are getting ready to ride it again. And remember that if you do end a ride, it costs you 90 cent to start to ride back up again. If you're only stopping for seven or eight minutes, it's best to pause it because it's only going to cost you 70 cent or 80 cent rather than the 90 cent it does to get it restarted again. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Until the next time, see you out and about.